Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. We're going to be continuing our sunflowers today. We drew them in part one and then I went ahead and added some color using brown crayon, black crayon, and yellow. And as you can see I've already started on the blue background and I have some liquid watercolors. My liquid watercolor I'm using today is blue so I'm going to add a blue sky. When you're doing this I give it a gentle stir but I don't want to splash. And I'm gonna pick up some of the blue liquid watercolor and I'm gonna start gently and slowly going all around the extra white spaces on my paper. I'm gonna be careful not to go over top of my sunflower. If you pressed really hard with crayons, it shouldn't actually color it when you go over top of it because it has all that wax from the crayons. So it's gonna resist it. I'm going slow around these petals using a small brush, going all the way to the edge of my paper. If you get a little bit on your work surface or your table, that's all right. And I take my brush. Sometimes you have to hold it a different way to make it a little more narrow to get in those small spaces. Again, working all the way up to the edge of the petals. If you get a little bit on your petal or in the center of your flower, that's gonna be all right too and go all the way in. Notice too, I'm holding my paper in a dry space so that it's not moving all over on me. And then I'm painting with my other hand. And look at it go. You might have also recognized that I've dipped my brush many, many times. So every time it looks like my watercolor paint's getting too light or it's getting dry, I'm gonna dip my brush again. So I have to move over and dip Sometimes I slide on the side so it's not dripping all over my table. Notice I'm not hitting it, it's a dip and slide. And I'm almost finished, I have almost all my white spaces. If it's really, really light in an area, once it's dry, you can go back and make another layer. But you don't wanna do that when your paper's too wet or it might rip it or put a hole in your art and we don't want that. Excellent, now that I've gotten all my white spaces and all my background, I'm ready to move this to a place to dry and get cleaned up for my next project. Thanks for joining me today. I can't wait to see your sunflowers.